Hi, my name is Linda, and I'm here to review um, To Burp or Not To Burp by Dr. Dave Williams and Lorinda um, Conti, I think that's how you pronounce it. So, and this is the cover of the book, and then there's the authors down there. So I picked some facts that I like out, out of this book. So I'll flip to the first fact. Oops, I have put mess. Yeah, I can't talk right now. So, there's a picture that I like in here, which is this. It's like a space toilet, but I'm also going to read the fact up here. So, I'm just going to turn it so I can read it. On Earth, we don't even think about going to the bathroom. We just do it. But how does it work if you're floating around? So, that's just something that I liked. Um... A ne the next thing that I liked was this picture. It's of um, a rocket blasting off. I just think it's really, really pretty. And it's just cool. The next fact. <laughs> Sorry. So there's also a really cool picture of someone trying to brush their hair when it's all like frizzy because they're in space. And then there's a little paragraph here that I'm going to read. No showers in space means no hair washing either, right? Sort of. Ast astronauts use rinseless shampoo to clean their hair. Just put it on, rub it in, and wipe it off with a towel. So that's what it says. Oh, that's the other one. So there is this picture of someone squirting, I think it's mustard onto crackers, it looks like. Um, and then there's a fun fact about that. So I'm also going to read that. Uh, so the fun fact is, watch this squirt. Squirting out of a floating sauce is a special skill only known to astronauts. So that's really cool. And I missed one, I think. Okay. Um, and then there's this picture of a girl here who looks like she's seasick, but she's in space, so she can't be seasick. And then there's a fact up here I'm also going to read. Free floating is one of the best feelings in the world, except when it makes you want to toss your cookies. Some astronauts get motion sickness at first, kind of like that feeling you get when you're on a giant roller coaster. This can make you avoid eating a lot in the very, in the first few days of a mission. So that's cool. I already read that. So, this one is sort of, I think, what the book's about. Um, it says, burp at your own risk. It's this one over here. And I'm going to read that because it's basically what the book's about, I think. So, yeah. On Earth, we can sense whether we are going to burp or whether we're going to throw up. In space, you, you, if you want to take the chance on a burp, just know there's no predicting what's going to come out. It could be harmless a bit of digestive gas, or it could be remain the remainders of lunch. What ever come out, be prepared to swallow quickly, or make sure you have a cleanup plan ready. So yeah, and then I have one more fact that I like about this book. Oops. Okay. So this is really cool because the paragraph is called The Incredible Shrinking Kid. So here it's on like the ground and he's only about um, four and a half feet tall. But here in this one 
he's about five feet tall. So it's really cool because it's about, it's like you're taller in space. So that's really cool. And that's all I want to talk about, about the book to burp or not to burp. Thank you for watching.